by Hexi. Today, then, I imagine the trial will focus on the testimony of these Frenchmen. Absolutely. This Thursday, Brussels Court of Assizes will hear testimony of two French journalists, uh, uh, Nicolas Hénin and Didier François. These two men, along with two others, were kept as hostages in Syria by the Islamic State group between 2013 and 2014 for the course of 10 months. They say that Mehdi Namouche, the man accused of killing four people at Brussels Jewish Museum in 2014, was one of their jailers, in fact, that he was one of their most violent jailers. They say that Mehdi Namouche regularly uh, meted out extremely violent beatings, often staging a mock executions. We're also expecting them to tell the court uh, that Mehdi Namouche uh, regularly boasted of leading operations in Syria, of raping women, of murdering men and looting homes. Now, on Wednesday, I spoke to Didier Francois, one of the men uh, who's testifying today. He told me that for him it was extremely important to testify today, in large part to refute uh, Namouche's lawyer's claims that their client was simply a young man with a criminal history horribly caught up in this affair. For Didier Francois, uh, Mehdi Namouche, there's no doubt about it, is a battle-hardened jihadist who is utterly capable of having carried out the attack on Brussels Jewish Museum in 2014. Uh, that identification and testimony of his character, of the defendant, a crucial part of the prosecution's case, uh, Hexi. Absolutely. Up until now, we've only seen one uh, eyewitness of events on uh, the 24th of May 2014 uh, stand up, take the stand and point at Mehdi Namouche in the dock, saying that is the man I saw carrying out the attack. Now, this trial's been going on for a little uh, over, sorry, a little under a month, uh, and that's not really what the prosecution was hoping for. There are a number of eyewitnesses, but there are significant discrepancies in their uh, testimony, uh, testimony, uh, sorry, uh, discrepancies pertaining uh, to height, to stature, even uh, to race. Now, what we have here is two men, two French journalists, saying that without a shadow of a doubt, the man who held them in captivity in Syria was Mehdi Namouche. Now, prosecutors are also hoping that today's testimony will help them establish some something else, and that is the anti-Semitic nature of this attack. Uh, Didier Francois has previously uh, spoken of uh, Mehdi Namouche's anti-Semitic obsession. He said that uh, Namouche regularly uh, expressed his admiration for Mohamed Merah, for example. Mohamed Merah, who carried out an attack on a Jewish school in Toulouse in 2012. Now, Mehdi Namouche's defence team have uh, repeatedly tried uh, to discredit these journalists. They have, for example, uh, openly questioned how it is that four French journalists were able to leave Syria unscathed, trying to sow seeds of doubt uh, in the jury's mind. And, of course, if the jury does believe this character testimony uh, from these two journalists today, that really will be extraordinarily advantageous to the prosecution. OK, well, I know that court session to get underway in the coming hours. But for now, Hexay, thanks indeed for that. Hexay Mars,